First and foremost, we want to say that no matter who you are, a smoker, a victim of secondhand smoke, or a non-smoker, this video is for you. Whether or not you smoke tobacco, we are not judging you. In this video, the only thing we care about is the health of babies who are still wanting to come out from their mother's belly. We all know that tobacco is very harmful, but how harmful is it, especially for fetuses, may still be a lingering question. Tobacco smoke causes a lot of negative effects on fetuses, which you might not know. A good thing is never too late. You still can save those babies, at least after watching this video. There's no doubt that tobacco smoking in both active and passive ways has been a worldwide issue these days. Every year, the whole world sees more than 7 million deaths of smoking. In the US, more than 16 million people are living with a disease caused by it. Even if you don't smoke, you probably have to face many severe consequences of secondhand smoke nearby. Just like that, preborn babies are also drastically affected if their mothers smoke, either actively or passively. Perhaps most of you think that tobacco smoke only affects lungs and respiratory systems of fetuses, but in reality, its effects are much more serious. Tobacco is made up of dried, fermented tobacco leaves. It contains not only nicotine, an ingredient that can lead to addiction, which is why so many smokers find it difficult to quit, but also a lot of other toxic chemicals like hydrogen cyanide, benzene, and ammonia. Tobacco products consist of cigarettes, pipe cigarettes, e-cigarettes, and their liquid solutions, cigars, and hookah tobacco. So, in general, what are common negative effects of tobacco on people? Active tobacco smoking can lead to cancer, especially lung cancer, heart disease, stroke, diabetes, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, which includes emphysema and chronic bronchitis. Smoking also increases risk for tuberculosis, certain eye diseases, and problems of the immune system. It's estimated that for every person who dies of smoking, at least 30 people live with a serious smoking-related illness. Secondhand smoke exposure is also so risky that it causes stroke, lung cancer, and coronary heart disease in adults. There are common risks of using or breathing in cigarette smoke in adults. For fetuses whose immune system and body organs haven't completely been formed, how high is the risk? In fact, baby's birth weight can be from 200 to 250 grams lower than normal because the fetus growth rate may reduce from 3.4 to 4.2 times. This can lead to some health problems in newborn babies and even many serious diseases later on, like cerebral palsy, retardation, and disorders. Another risk for pregnant women is miscarriage or stillbirth because of weak pregnancy maintenance ability. Some recent studies show that smoking increases the risk of natural miscarriage from 1.5 to 3.2 times. <coughs> Tobacco contains more than 7,000 chemicals. Nicotine and carbon monoxide, the most toxic therein, can tighten up a mother's blood vessels, including vessels in the umbilical cord, so babies will get less oxygen. Carbon monoxide can also cause babies to grow less and reduce their brain weight. If mothers use a pack of cigarettes per day during pregnancy, the risk of birth defects and slow brain development in their babies 
will respectively be 2.3 times and 0.7 times higher than in other babies. More seriously, smoke may cause sudden infant death syndrome, which is also known as crib death, the sudden unexplained death of a child of less than one year of age. There are still tons of other negative effects of tobacco smoking on children and pregnant women. To save your beloved children, let's try your best not to smoke. If you have no choice other than to live together with secondhand smoke, just keep yourself away from it as much as possible. Speak up to save yourself and your innocent babies. As for tobacco smokers, we know you've got a reason to do so. You're responsible for your health and your life. It's your own choice to smoke, not other people's. So please respect their choice like the way they respect yours. Let's try to smoke wisely. Don't smoke in front of children and public places, but in your private space. It's the way to respect the health of your children, your relatives, and the community. For you, for your own children and beloved ones.